The GSLVM K3 launch vehicle is an evolved version of India's geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, developed and operated by the Indian Space Research Organization. The primary purpose of GSLV is the deployment of geostationary satellites but the vehicle has been designed to be human-rated to deliver an initial version of ISRO's crewed vehicle into orbit. The GSLV project was initiated in the 1990s when India determined that the country needed its own launch capability for geosynchronous satellites to become independent from other launch providers. At that time, India was relying on Russian rockets for heavy satellite launches. Missions were shifted when commercial launch providers such as ERI and SPACE emerged and GSLV development continued. In its initial stage, the GSLV project was to employ a large number of heritage components from the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle that made its first flight in 1993. The three-stage GSLVM K I and MKII have an improved performance over the four-stage PSLV with the addition of strap-on liquid-fueled boosters and the cryogenic upper stage. GSLVM K3 replaces the solid core stage with a large liquid-fueled core stage and twin solid rocket boosters with a large cryogenic upper stage stacked on top. Over the course of its development, GSLV flew in various configurations being designated MK1A, B and C and MK2 with MK3 being the successor to the first generation of GSLV launchers scheduled to make its first flight the high-thrust cryogenic engine C-20 which was successfully test-fired at the ISRO Propulsion Complex IPR C Mantrajiri for launching 3-ton class payloads would be used on GSLV MK3 flight by the end of this year, the senior IPRC scientist has said. A long-duration hot test has proved that all subsystems of the engine performed well and after completing the series of development tests on this indigenously developed engine, it would be ready for flight by the end of this year. The scientist told the Hindu here on Sunday, preferring anonymity, he said the engine would be subjected to further confirmatory tests before it is tested and used to power the cryogenic stage of GSLVM K3 launch vehicle. Though the engine was designed to carry a 3 ton class satellites, the payload weight would be restricted to less than 3 tons in the initial developmental flight, he said. Self-Reliance India still relies on the European Space Agency ESA for launching its 4-ton class satellites, he said. The country could become self-reliant once this Emil cryogenic engine is developed, he said. IPRC has started the assembly integration and testing facilities and is set to achieve a milestone in the next three years, he said. The Emil cryogenic engine, using kerosene as fuel and liquid oxygen as oxidizer, is currently being designed and developed. The refined and purified kerosene to be used as fuel has been named as isracene, the scientist said. $1 per 1 kilogram pointing out that India paid roughly about $1 US for launching 1 kilogram weight of payload at the ESA. He said we can considerably reduce the launch expenses after developing this Emil cryogenic engine. The IPRC was also into the development of air breathing engines he said adding it's a different technology altogether and initial tests are being conducted. Thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe.